uh, anonymous abuse. Business for next week, and I want to also pay tribute to all those involved in last year's dreadful attack on this house. Mr. Speaker, we will never forget that day, but we went home at the end of that day as this house was made safe for us. Some of our community within Parliament did not quite make that, and it is those that we will remember today. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the, the whole fallout from this Cambridge Analytica and its connections with this government is getting murkier and murkier. We now know that three government departments had contracts with the parent company SCL in the past. We know that the founding chair was a, a former Tory MP and the director had donated over £700,000 to the Conservative Party. So can we have a, a full statement from the Prime Minister so we could gently probe her about the full scale of the government connections with Cambridge Analytica? This is not going to go away for this government. And Mr Speaker, we need a full debate on the great fishing sellout. Fishing communities across Scotland are furious with this government and cannot believe that they are being sold out once again. That anger was only compounded with a ridiculous stunt on the Thames yesterday when the Scottish fish chuckers threw perfectly good fish into the Thames. The Tories will never, ever be trusted on fishing again, yeah, and they will yeah, deserve yeah, yeah, everything yeah. that's coming their way from fishing yep, communities yep. at the next election. Yep. And lastly, Mr Speaker, Expendable. can we please have a full statement on the passport bleu? You, you can just simply feel the upset and fury from all these Brexiteers over there. How dare these Europeans get their mitts on our blue passports, this new symbol of a free Britain? <laughs> Mr Speaker, forget Agincourt, forget Waterloo, forget Trafalgar. We must say no to these French passport makers. So will the Leader of the House join me in my campaign? to make the British passport great again. <laughs> <laughs>